Hello class. Today we're starting a new topic on factors, multiples and primes. We will start with the lowest common multiple, which is your title at the top. Your LO is in the green box. To be able to calculate highest common factors and lowest common multiples by listing. Again, your LO is at the bottom, and here's your retrieval task. If you can work through these examples for me, pause the video and take 10 minutes doing this. Here are your answers. Again, pause the video for three minutes, mark your work, give it that green pen, and make sure you include any corrections you need. So this is the list of contents. This is what we hope to be able to achieve as we work through this topic. So we're looking at calculating lowest common multiple, highest common factor. We'll look at prime factors and the use of Venn diagrams. Here is our success criteria for the first lesson. To know the definition of a multiple, a factor and a prime, something we'll look at shortly. To be able to assess if a number is odd or even, very useful with prime factorization. To know the multiplication tables to a good standard. Again, that is why we do our numeracy and injury. So first, let's look at the definitions. With highest common factor, what is a factor? A factor is a number that may be divided by another certain number times without a remainder. So, 5 is a factor of 50 and 20. Let's look at lowest common multiple. A multiple, what is that? A multiple is a number or quantity that when multiplied with another produces a given number. And finally, prime is a number that only has two factors, one and itself. So if you can pause this for me for two minutes and copy down those definitions. So, as we're looking through this, we have the I do. Can we calculate the lowest common multiple of 10 and 12? So the first thing that we do is we list the multiplication tables for both. We then look for the lowest common multiple, so the lowest shared multiple. We find that to be 60. So the lowest common multiple of 10 and 12 is 60. If you can now pause the video for me and give the we do a go. Okay, so for the we do, we list the multiplication tables for both the 8 and 12 times tables. We look for the lowest common multiple. We find that to be 24. Again, if you can copy down the I do example. So the lowest common multiple for 10 and 7. We list the multiplication tables. We look for the lowest common multiple. We find that to be 17. Again, pause the video for two minutes and see if you can complete the we do. So again, first we list the multiplication tables, our eight and five times tables. We look for the lowest common multiple, the lowest shared number in the two lists, which gives us 40. Another example. We list our multiplication tables from 21 and 7, but for the lowest shared multiple, which in this case is actually one of the numbers that we were using to start with. Our lowest common multiple is 21. If you can now pause the video for two minutes and complete the we do.
Okay, so again, we list the two multiplication tables. Look for the lowest common multiple, we'll find that to be 24. Now there is a slight difference. Again, copy the we do down. We have three numbers this time. So, we list the multiplication tables for all three numbers. We then look for the lowest common multiple that is in all three lists. We find that to be 84. Pause the video now. And attempt the we do. You have two minutes. So again, we list the multiplication tables, look for the lowest common multiple, and we find that to be 96. And finally, we want to look to use these skills in a variety of ways. So now we are finally deciding whether this statement is true or false. We are told that the lowest common multiple of 12 and 9 is 72. So we list multiplication tables of 12 and 9. We look to see what is the lowest common multiple. We find it to be 36. Therefore, the statement is false. Pause the video now for two minutes and try and calculate whether the statement in the we do is true or false. So first we list the multiplication tables. We look for the lowest common multiple. We find that to be 36. So the statement is again false. Now, I want you to work through these problems for the next 10 minutes. See if you can find the lowest common multiple for each group of numbers. So pause the video now, give them a go. And here we go, here are the answers. Now we have some more examples. This time there are three numbers. So it's a group of numbers that you need to find the lowest common multiple for. Pause the video for five minutes and try to calculate these. Here are the answers. Make sure you're green penning and including your corrections if you have any. And now is a moment to reflect on any of the work that you may have or could do to help solidify your knowledge. So you could go back to the start of the video with your success criteria and see how much has stuck, how much you can still remember, how confident you now feel, or where you need to focus your energies. Very well done, everyone. I'll see you next time.